Come with your friend. That one who is talking in class. Come, both of you. Come, Kelvin. Come and sit. Eric. Plus your friend who you are talking with in class. Namata, come and sit here. Namata, sleep here. Let's see me back. By now. which are near us. Cut it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, that's okay. Father, we thank you for this evening. We thank you for your power. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your anointing. Speak to us today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This is the first time I'm actually speaking to ladies in a ladies' meeting. Besides women's conference. <laughs> it's a miracle. Praise the Lord. Amen. And it's also, it's also good. It also means you have a lot of lady teachers. Eh? Which is also what? <laughs> but sometimes it's good to hear a male voice. That's why. Maybe I went to this. Genesis chapter 2. I have to share something very small. For about 30 minutes. And then we get out of here. How long do you usually share? The person who shares. Let me try to push up to 30 feet. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's begin from... Uh, Somebody read quickly. Somebody read quickly. Somebody read quickly. And the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden yeah. to tend and guard and keep him. Mm. And the Lord God commanded the man, mm. saying, You may freely eat of every tree of mm. the garden. Thou shall not eat. Uh -huh. And blessing and calamity you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you, you shall surely die. die uh -huh. Now the Lord God said, It is not good, sufficient, satisfactory, that the man should be alone. Mm. I will make him a help for me. Suitable, mm. adapted, complimentary for me. Oh, so amplified day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to amplified. <laughs> the Lord has done great things in her life. Continue. I'll make him a helper. Uh -huh. 
Eh, le voy a tomar, vamos a tomar. A helper, me. Suitable, ajá. ¿Eh? Adaptable. Adaptable. Complimentary. I needed to share something that some of you probably might have not known. I believe nobody here knows. I'm sure. When you study the interlinear, that is the Greek Hebrew, the, some of you, okay, basic line, eh? the Old Testament was written in Hebrew. Hebrew. New Testament. When you go to the Hebrew, and the Lord is the Hebrew word. Okay? And the Lord is the what? That is Jehovah. God. Elohim. That is the, the, the plural name of God. That is God's Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Lord God says, there is an interlinear. It is not good. The word there is to be. That is agreeable. Okay? That the man, Adam, should be how you that is to become or to exist or to happen or to cause. Okay? I will make him, that is a star, to fashion. I help meet, that is a sucker, someone who ate like the Holy Spirit. Eh? So he's Actually, the Hebrew, your English says, and the Lord God says, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him and help meet for him. That's the English. The Hebrew reads like this. And the Lord God says, it is not good that the man should be. I will make him a helpmate for him. I don't know if you understand. Your English says, it should not, it's, it's not good that a man should be alone, I will make him a help meet suitable for him. The Hebrew says, it is not good that a man should be. I should make him a helper suitable for him. Now, classroom, what is the difference? So, hand. Is it a mundicilia? What is the difference? I need three hands very quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stand up. Stop. He could not have the word alone. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Um, from the Hebrew, like she just said, that the man should not exist. When he goes on to say, I will make him and help me. 
It means that we should not exist without our Thank you. Thank you. Now, if if so, that is the amusement the last. Why did you get this? <laughs> now, you follow this language, eh? He planted trees in the garden, and he planted one tree. And he says, thou shalt eat of every tree in the garden, but not the tree of knowledge of good and evil, blessing and calamity. For the day thou shalt eat it, thou shalt surely die. Ah, it is not good that a man should be. Why? He's bound to eat. Do you understand what I mean? Do you understand what I mean? It's not good that a man should, because he's bound to eat. Who, who understands what I mean? He created the tree. Tells him you shall eat of every tree, even the tree of life is there. But you shall not eat of he has created a law. And said, every law can be broken. And she will be broken by a man. You get my mind? So he says, it's not good that a man should be. Let me make a helper suitable. A helper, let me probably wait for the Hebrew. A helpmate, one who helps. Are you with me? One who helps. So, in this instance, why is she helping? What is she helping? What is she helping? What is she helping? Who's in the class? Ah, she's not helping what to eat because the problem is not what to eat or what not to eat. The Bible has said to Deum class. He said, and he created the tree. And he said, you shall eat of every tree. He said, the tree of good eyes, knowledge of good and evil. And he says, ah, it's not good that a man should be. Okay? Your English version says, alone. The Hebrew Bible doesn't have the word alone. You get my point? So, <laughs> already there's a problem. Because men marry when they feel lonely. And women come in the lives of men to help men who are lonely. The Hebrew word doesn't have the word alone. Uh -uh. The God, in fact, according to the Hebrew language, is not interested in the function of the woman, but rather the identity, the nature of the woman in this mind. He says it is not good that a man should be. Why? Why does the man die? Because the man is corruptible. Mm -hmm. If I say thou shalt not. You see, some people don't understand that even from the beginning, it had nothing to do with Eve. Nothing. That is why when Eve ate the fruit, God said, because he never gave that instruction to Eve. He never. You get my point? And the biggest mistake was Adam telling Eve, didn't the Lord tell her? <laughs> Think with me. Is it so? The last time the Lord told her? No. The Lord told Adam. He didn't tell him. That's why when Eve eats the forbidden fruit, God doesn't look for Eve to what? to hang her. Because his business is not to eat. His business is to the man he spoke to. And after giving him the instruction, he remembers it's not good. But this guy should be alone. He'll screw up. Now the irony here is that Eve was the first one to be what? Question. Why do you think the serpent went to eat? What? Because he knew she was not told of that instruction. That is number one. Uh -huh. Number two. We are digging now deep. Revelation, by the way. Huh? 
Tu veux la nio. This, there's a reason why the guy is alone. He knows that if he can succeed with it, Adam won't be a problem. Because Adam is not without it. Kaki, let's first define these things people call wife, husband, marriage. You realize that many women enter marriage to help lonely men. You get it? But you realize it's even worse when a woman has to enter the relationship because she also feels lonely. <laughs> Who understands the mystery? <laughs> God has never observed a woman lonely. The anointing on her is helper. It is a woman here and you're lonely. You have a problem. Which I can deliver it. <laughs> Let me tell you, this is the spirit. The Bible says the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. You get my point? If a woman has, is feeling lonely, she doesn't know she's a woman. Already you come in as a helper. You get my point? You come in as a suitable, suitable. Do you understand what I'm saying? The fallen state now is the one which says, her desire shall be to her. That is after the fallen state. Because you're not in the fallen state. You are very old. You are very old fallen state. You get my point? Women who don't know God are the women who should feel Lonely. You can't, you can't be lonely. You, you can't. How? How? You tell me how. Help us. How can I help us? I don't know whether some of you understand. Yeah. I, I know you might not, it might not make sense. Because I'm going to say, but apostle, me, I, I feel lonely. Is that how can you say that I don't win? <laughs> <laughs> you get my point? Do you realize where there is loneliness, there is a need? Yeah. And do you realize you can't help when you're also in need? Yeah. You can't. You just can't help when you're also yeah. in need. But do you realize that just that one word added on the scripture changed everything about how women view themselves and how men view women? Yeah. That is why even today in the church, eh, the definition of women helping is cooking, washing the dog, you understand? <laughs> that is the definition of? But really, you tell me, can the man cook? If he wants to cook, can he cook? That's my point. That's my point. But you realize because we use the word alone, which is not existent in the mind of the spirit, God did not define woman coming in the life of Adam because he was alone. Adam had God. Yeah. But when, it, when the Bible says that, in fact, when the Hebrew word says that, it is not good for man to be. He means this thing that I've created doesn't have any sense. If it doesn't have anybody to help it exist. That means you're, if you're in, the, in the life of the man, you are helping him be. That is why if the devil wants to destroy, he destroys what can help him be. Because you are, this is deeper than marriage, even if you're not married. Even if you're not married, you already have that anointing on you. How? How can you? Do you understand what I mean? You're dealing with, let's say the serpent defeat, eh? the help. Have you ever asked yourself why God has never put any judgment on the spirit of on his spirit? Have you asked yourself why God has a problem when a man, he says, you can even blaspheme the name of the son. 
it shall be forgiven. But any man which blasphemes the name, the Holy Spirit, he shall never be. Because this is a hell time. You're dealing with a hell time. You get my point? He's the one which makes be. The Christ and Father God can't, they can't function without the Holy Spirit. It is not because they feel lonely. No, it is because he's part of the Trinity. He's a complete Elohim. He's the one that completes the sack of Elohim. Let us make man in our own image and likeness. You get my point? Your husband should not look at you as one who came in his life to help him stop being lonely. He should look at you. Do you understand? He should look at you as one who I, who defines him. When you're up there, he doesn't have a name. He doesn't have an identity. Tarina. In fact, I don't know if you can't talk about it. You can't talk about it. He says it's not good that a man should be. This is God judging. Put your husband in there. Put your husband in there. Put your husband in there. He knew. Listen. He knew. He knew that the man can't. He knew the man can't. He knew. You understand? And that is why if your husband is receiving you, he fear. He just in fear. <laughs> and tell me, why? Because he knows you can't. He, he knows you can't. You, you ask Katiham Shalom Kenya, the one who can understand. All married women, how many of you? Now when your mother has met your father, they were very poor. Then I ingrained you by certain Egyptian. Have you noticed men who cheat on their wives, they become poor? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Because they can't be damaged. I know you are running a tumor one day. They're the real spirit. They're the real spirit. The real spirit is on the hill. So, helping should go past it. Because I'm going to That is why a man can't produce. That's why I'm going to go to the moon. He can't. You understand what I'm saying? He can't. A man can't. You get my point? Because you are dealing with someone who can't. You see, like that I was reading the portion of scripture. The, the, the Bible says, the woman says, the Lord appears to her and tells her, in you, two nations fight each other. No yeah? mm -hmm. a woman can hold a nation. You get my point? That's how we are going to say, it's a nation. You know, it's a seed. Spamatos. Spam. You get my point? From the man, it is seed. When it enters the woman, it becomes nation. You have you. Help her. You get my point? That is why you, when you understand who you are in God, some of you in marriage won't be a problem. It won't. Me, I'm telling you, it won't. At least majority of you are dead. In fact, all of you are destined. I don't see a celibate here. If you are, you're mistaken. I'll see you to beat you. I'll tell you, you'll even get my speaker. I'll tell you, you'll get my speaker. Did you put that? Hey, I don't. I was going to be scared. I was going to bring out everything. You've been telling me. So, you understand? I'm joking. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So, at the end of the day, bless the Lord. Eh? Bless the Lord. Why do you think now God asks the woman to submit? The place of submission is because it's the only way you can help. Eh? Mm -hmm. You get my point? It's the only way you can help. If you don't, you can't. Okay? Now, I want us to deal with two things before I finish. Let us deal with a single the place where society has created a place where women 
<laughs> think they are entering relationships because they want to help lonely people. Because I've realized that that is the biggest frustration to divine purpose. You get my point? The call of God on Adam was not to be unlonely. The call of Adam was to subdue, produce, multiply, fill this earth, occupy until you come. Given authority over the world, every living creature, the things that fly, hey, he has a responsibility. And one of the responsibilities not given in scriptures is not being unlonely. You get my point? And God forgive us because we've also created the culture. Never seen that enough, you know. By giving Zabawala how to make unlonely certain lonely men. So this goes beyond what a man can't do alone for him to come in and help him do. No. It is actually a man can't be. This is more of a man can't be. I don't know whether you understand. God is not looking at the doing of the man in this character for him to come and help do what he can't do. No. God is dealing with the being of the man of which he can't be for you to come for him to be. You understand? Because because of that kind of culture, when we focus on loneliness, we try to define men differently. You get my point? We try to look at men even men also, we also learn to impose ourselves. I said, now we know you're going to be a man. Because I think I'm going to be a man. You're frustrating all You get my point? He gives more power to the man to be the head. You stop me. But never forget you make him. It's like Jesus. Yes, you touch us all. I could jump moving in a tumbler, Kampala. You won't go back there. Come on. You get my point? He's our Lord. Even when he had the ability to come in the body, they are still our own back of it. You get my point? At the end of the day, I got no. You take off. He's working in us. You and me. Both the will and to do. You think he could not come back in another body? He could. But he doesn't see that place of being head and not work in. Do you understand? Because when the Christ looks at us, he doesn't look at us as aliens to whom he put life in. No. He looks at us as that which came out of. Okay? That's the point of when, when Adam looks at it, he says, I shall call her woman, for she came out of me. You get my point? Now that part that gets her out, like I said, and she comes out mature, she doesn't first go through stages of death. There is no point in Adam's story where he has to help her. You get my point? She comes out mature. You get my point? You get my point? Now, the reason why I'm saying this is not to put horns on him of Meba Baba. We know in future. You get my point? And the reason I'm also saying this is I also don't want us to think that the best thing of every woman on earth is marriage. <coughs> no, not every woman. And it shouldn't be the center of it. But I want us to appreciate why God created the woman. Why he formed her out of man. Simply put, to deal with a nature issue, not a function issue. You get my point? It's dealing with a nature issue, not a function issue. And therefore, if you're dealing with a nature issue, you must understand that if the Lord tomorrow should put a man in your life, or for those of you who already are married, look at yourself as one which comes to define nature, than just function. You get my point? Society tells us of Sajja, Afukam Sajja, Nazim, and Nyumba, so what I'm talking about, you understand that it's very you can't be a man if you don't have this and eh, this if you don't circumcise this. <laughs> you get my point? And then at the end of the day, again, the guy ends up looking for helper suitable. You get my point? Helper meet one who can adopt 
Atolo mugu mira. Yechecho lorugado lutu. One who can adopt. Agumira. Why on already the guy in it? You get my point? What you think in the one man? Azolo kolaki. Okumugu mira. Adopt people. Do you understand what I mean? Who can adopt? That's why they amplify Jesus the word adopt. In fact, there's a person who says, I think it's in Titan. They amplify still uses the word women should be adoptable. They should be adoptable. God has not called the guy to adopt. You get it's you who should adopt because you're the helper. You can adopt. You get it. You get my point. You get my point. It's not him to adopt. It's you to that it's an anointing on you. You get it. look at how Jesus deals with us. Do we necessarily adopt to God to move? No. He can even watch and think we are funny and he just sort of That is great. That is why even when he calls us, he knows how to deal with adopting with everyone. I get my point. And that is why me I tell people that if, for example, um, your you know, marriage, what, there's nothing of commitment in the future. Now I speak as an apostle. Don't enter in the place of defining functions because if you do, any woman can define them better. Yeah. Yeah. And you think you're a good washing machine, there's a woman who can wash it. You <laughs> think you're a good cook, there's a deep power. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing you can do that another woman can't do. Nothing. You get it? And that is why if you enter that man's life with that mindset of trying to be the help of one which is alone, I want to assure you any other woman can minister comfort. Any woman. You get it? Any what? Woman. Any man. As in, any woman can what? And means the comfort. It's a church of Jeremiah. And how it's going to get you as a woman of God, it's not even because you are the best cook, even though it's good to cook. You understand? Even though it's good to what? That's not what's going to make you who you are. What's going to make you who you are is him looking at you and he realizes you define him. You define him. You don't cover his loneliness. The language is the same as the name of Christ. The cigarette is the same as the name of You get my point. We have a lot Don't raise your daughter with the need of, of meeting lonely. You get that guy so lonely. Has the helper is lonely. I know young guys who are they are lonely. Then you find two lonely guys trying to unlearn themselves. Then they spend kingdom time and money unlearning themselves. Every time the boy unlearning, the one learning, the other, but they are going to go to the other. You understand? The one who are going to go to the other. I was bored. I thought about you. Kingdom. Please. People are dying, we need to change the world. Mysteries have to flow. Are you hearing me? Why? Why? We want to now start defining the definition of marriage alongside ministry. Purpose. You get my point? If you should enter in the guy's life, Jackson knows you complete him in the sense of identity. You define him. You get my point? And you don't rub it on him and say, why not I define you? You'll get an answer. What are you? What are you? <laughs> can't. Three things. You get it? Even though it's true you can't, eh? don't do it. Do you know why we don't? Do you know why you're covered? Do you know why you're covered? The scripture says, let me read it for you. Tandarabash Pekele. Let me read it for you. <laughs> Somebody. Somebody is identity is compromised. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. 
Uh-huh, First Corinthians 11, 10. If you're there, you say amen. But they begin from, from, from... Begin from... Uh, verse 7, a man, for a man, a read. So many. From, from 7 to verse 10. For a man ought not to wear anything on his head mm. in his heart, mm. for he is the image and reflected glory of God. Mm. His function of government reflects the majesty of the divine world. Mm. But a woman is the expression of a man's glory, majesty, Expression of the man. Glory. Glory. Hey. Wait. Hey. Did you hear or it's me who read badly? For a man ought not to wear anything. Mm. For he is the image. Uh -huh. His function of government reflects the majesty of the divine world. Mm -hmm. But a woman is the expression of a man's glory. I have glory, but you are the only one who can express it. <laughs> it can't be glory unless you do. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Next. Majesty. I can't express glory, majesty on me. I am majestic, but you do. You get it? Uh -huh. Preeminent. I can't be preeminent, but you are. You do. You're the expressive image. In other words, even though I'm preeminent, majestic and glorified, I don't carry any identity if my expression ain't there. It's like a musician who can't sing. A man can't be alone. Okay, remove the one A man can't be. What was it? Uh-huh. Continue. So man was not created from woman, mm. but woman Mm -hmm. Does that make sense now? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Neither was man created on account of mm. all mm. for the benefit of woman, mm. but woman on account of mm -hmm. and for the benefit of man. Oyamba Musatya. You get my point? For the benefit of? Man. Uh -huh. Therefore, she should be subject to his authority mm. and should have a covering on her head. For? As a token of her submission to authority mm -hmm. that she may show reverence as do the angels as do the angels mm -hmm. and not displease them. You get it? That means women are appointed angelic mm -hmm. because of your role too. Because of your role. Mm -hmm. As as those who 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 make men be it, the scriptures are clear that he has appointed you angelic. He didn't say one angel. They are plural. You get my point? So the angels standing by my side are not the angels standing by your side. The mandate of the angelics on me are to release the function of the divinity, which is God. The angelics on you are to express the glory of me. You understand? And he says, but if you don't submit, you make the angelics angry. You get my point? So there are women who walk rebelled against the angelics. You get it? When you some people, it's not generational caste. No. They are war, they, they, they are warring against the angelics. I don't know whether you understand how serious. Some people, it's not in Mubamuro, Gat, Manyo, Musaji, Chukumi, Naya, Yomba, Nyo, Ebiba, Chankala, Nyo, 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 Ny
you mess with the angelic order. They, the way they view you. You get my point? Stop getting into the man's life to cover loneliness. Understand. You, you define him. The man can't be without, without you. This is why. This is because you can eat and not be judged. But he can't not eat and not be judged. Because the commandment is to him, not you. Listen, the woman entity is the only substance from the beginning of the earth, up till now, that has stayed under grace. It seems you don't understand what I mean. The woman, God has never put here, even when he was giving the law, he brought it to Moses. He could not use a human, a woman figure. He couldn't, he couldn't get the woman. Do you understand what I mean? Even in the beginning, when he was sending out the first law, he couldn't go on the helper. Because he knows if the, the law is the helper, how, who will help? Do you understand what I mean? Who will help? It, some of you, I think you don't understand how serious this is. That is why I tell people, for example, the place of submission is not the place of being to your guide. No, it's the place where you must understand that this guy has judgment on him by reason of being a man. You hear my point? The command is sent to him. If he breaks, judgment is set on him. It will not be set on the woman. The mind of the spirit. Do you realize that it was actually Adam who judged him? God never judged him. It was the woman you gave me. God never judged him. You hear my point? The effect on Eve was because of the first judgment Adam did when he pointed on the one who should the helper. You get my point? When he pointed on her and said, she's the one who was. What am I making? Man. He, he, when he said, she's the, it's the woman you gave me. You get my point? God is trying to understand. How can you say, the woman I gave you, did I tell her not to? Oh, I told you. Let's get clear here. Who did I give the instruction? Who did I give the instruction? Adam. You get my point? Not. And do you know, by the way, let me submit this to you. Eh? Do you know why God blames Adam? Do you realize that according to the scriptures, eh, when the serpent was tempting, Adam was there. You see people in the movie, eh? The Ishonga Adam is playing with some monkey. <laughs> <laughs> and then he says, Adam, Adam, come, look at this bubble girl. What, what is it? It's not easy. Ah, Genesis. But God is in the it's now a quack. Then he starts to eat. But when you, when you actually read the scriptures, when the Lord was speaking, Adam was there. A hundred percent, he had one of us. You can't tell me, Adam, Adam. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't tell me you didn't see it happen. You get my point? But I can also blame Adam. Kumanga <laughs> That is why he couldn't be there. God knew. The even the devil knows eh, if he wants to break a marriage. <laughs> House down with? How old Even if it's funny like how, there is a way you can wire him. There is a way. There is a way. There is always a way. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. And as I'm Kazi Wangambo, I'm Saja Wangancho, I'm Kazi and Nenya, I can understand. I'm Kazi Wangambo, I'm Saja 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 Wangambo, I'm do you understand what I'm saying? You got people. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm Okay, let the world think what they think. For us, this is what we think. I'm saying that I'm going to call it. I don't want to also offend the world. Because that's the truth. I'm saying that I'm going to call it. That's the truth. Uh, you get auntie, you get auntie. <laughs> 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 you get auntie. 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 You get aunt
Because you define him. You what? You define him. It is not good that a man should exist. I'll make him someone, this is the language, that can help him exist. That is the language. Remove alone, loneliness. That's the word of the devil. Listen, Christians can't be lonely. And so I thought it is devil. Or you know Holy Ghost? Or you know Holy Ghost? How? How can you wake up? Or you know Holy Ghost? Listen, if you don't feel like, if you feel lonely, just start to speak in tongues. Open your mouth and say, Rabba Kasaka. Ever present help in times of need. Out from the Omega present and the future. How? He's everywhere. Open his presence. President in the mystery hit from the other spot. And now the feel Christo Moose, the hope of God. Then go and body lonely. Oh, how? He says, I will not leave you as often. He says, this. No man in this world is lonely. Eh? No woman in this world is lonely. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel lonely. Sometimes I feel I need a house, a boyfriend. I'm sitting here and I'm going to tell you. <laughs> I said that message, I said, I tell you, I tell you, she answer back. I'm going to walk up in the outside, I tell you, I can't speak, I can't speak. I can't speak, I can't speak. I tell him I have Jesus. I can't be lonely. I can't be lonely. I'm a helper. I'm a helper. Helpers are not in need. I never had the Holy Spirit asking for a thing. <laughs> that means you're not coming in marriage to be complete. I came out of my cousin, you complete me. No, how? <laughs> you, can't, yeah. you complete me. He can't complete me. So when a man says she complete me, I understand. But not the woman. No, for you are a fool. Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. The challenge is that we are all around the world. We no, listen, even if you have a very old shoe, that you don't have money in your bag, you are complete. Hear my point. And you're the helper, suitable. Meaning, you have everything in this. But you love me, how he can't look around. Because it's not a function issue, it's a nature issue. You understand? Even if other women can satisfy, wait, wait, wait. You're suited for. You get it? Ah, what am I speaking to? This, that is why if you enter some of your marriage and you're seeking, you're not complete, they are completing you, you're not going to cheat on you. Because you'll be an option. You're be an option. But when you're suitable, nature, you get my point? You feel like when he's doing it, he's doing it to himself. I want to take it to you. Can you cheat on yourself? No. Can you cheat on Can I walk out and say, I'm going to cheat on like it's not possible there, it will not also be possible with. Because you what? You complete. Hallelujah. Now I want you to just raise your voice and spoken. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Mare Brooklyn, 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 Mare Brooklyn,